guys, it's Tina and I am back with another Japanese skincare review. It is the very well-known Kiku Masamune Skin Care Lotion. So I have seen many different names for this product in English, although in Japanese it does say Uruo Nihonshu no Keshou Sui by the brand Kiku Masamune. So that directly translates to being like hydrating, moisturizing Japanese sake or rice wine toner. So yes, it is a toner. In Japan they do often call toners lotions, so it can be a little bit confusing, but essentially it is like a hydrating type of toner. So the whole concept of this product is that it is by a brand called Kiku Masamune, which is genuinely a Japanese sake brewing company. They make their own sake, they make a lot of different liqueurs, and that is what they originally produced and are known for, and now they do also produce skincare. So the reason why they started producing skincare is, as you guys probably know, rice is extremely beneficial for your skin in many different ways, and especially fermented rice, which is how they produce the sake. So they use fermented rice extracts, which help skin texture, which help brighten, hydrate and all of that good stuff and they do also say one bottle of this toner actually contains the same amount of amino acids as one bottle of sake which usually is 1.8 liters so amino acids are really really good for hydration they're good for overall skin health and they're good for like generally your body as well so they do have two types of this lotion they have the regular one which is the white version or it just comes in like a clear bottle and then they have the pink version which is the high moist so it's supposed to to be more moisturizing the pink version i feel like i definitely see the pink version around more online and stuff and it does seem to be more globally reviewed versus the regular version other than the fermented rice extract that i mentioned earlier both of these products actually include arabutin which is a really good ingredient for skin brightening the hadarabo lotions the shirojin includes it which i have loved for a very long time and then it does also have placenta extract in it to moisturize and hydrate which <sighs> I miss this so much, but the Suhada Shizuku Placenta Lotion um, Toner that I had mentioned many times in the past that uses placenta moist that uses placenta that <laughs> That uses placenta to moisturize as well. And then the difference between the two is that the white version, it actually has been recently renewed. So it is the slightly different formula now compared to this one that I got when I was last in Japan. So it has vitamin A in the form of retinol palmitate. Palmitate, did I say that right? Yes, palmitate, which is an antioxidant. And then it does also include derivatives of vitamin C and E. It's just gonna give you a little bit of extra boost. Will probably help the hydration and kind of brightening factor that it already has in this toner and then the pink one the difference is that it actually includes two types of ceramides so obviously it is the high moist so it is meant to be a bit more moisturizing a bit more replenishing and nourishing so it does include ceramide which this regular version does not so i'm going to say this now and i'll probably say it again later in the video but it is not the most gentle product i am just going to put that out there now it might not be the best for people with sensitive skin it does include alcohol in it Although it used to be denatured alcohol, which is actually included in these products because I have the old version. So denatured alcohol is probably not the best version of alcohol to have in skincare because it can irritate the skin barrier and weaken it. But they have recently changed it to phenoxyl ethanol. So it is a better form of alcohol. There's actually a safe preservative to be used. So if you've used it in the past and reacted to the alcohol, there is a possibility that you might be okay with the newer versions, although it does still have alcohol, so not promising anything, especially if you do have sensitive skin. It does also have added fragrance, which I know some people cannot use. I am fine with fragrance. I do not react to fragrance, although I will say that the fragrance in this is pretty strong. It smells like sake. It smells like rice wine. So if you know the smell of rice wine or Japanese sake, it smells like that and it is fairly strong. I will say I have gotten used to it. It doesn't really bother me anymore. It's still there, but it's kind of like, it's not something that I realized, but I did see on a lot of reviews and especially Japanese reviews that people said they just couldn't get used to the smell. Yeah, that it just didn't go away. So please be aware if you are sensitive to smell or fragrance. So how to use it is pretty simple. Just use it like a regular toner. Once you have cleansed your face, apply this toner. You can put it on a cotton pad and swipe it if you would like, or you can pop it into your palms and press it in. I do usually prefer to just um, directly apply my toner 
Although since it is such a big bottle and you do get a lot of product, I don't feel as bad using a lot of it. So I will often put some on a cotton pad, do my first swipe once, and then go in with like an actual second layer. Like I said, I do with the Naturier skin conditioner. So off the bat, I'm just gonna say it, I definitely prefer the original white bottle better. You can probably tell because I have used it a lot more. I'm, I'm actually almost done with it versus the High Moist. I'm only about halfway through. So this one is definitely really similar to the Naturia Skin Conditioner, which you guys know that I love. It is very watery and it layers very well. So I will say when I first apply one layer, it feels like not quite enough. Or when I apply a second or third layer, it is definitely replenishing. My skin is very supple. It looks bouncy. It looks hydrated. And it is a good amount of hydration for my dehydrated skin. I feel like I actually need less layers of this versus the Naturia one. So I usually do two to three layers at night. It does also layer with other products in my skincare routine well. It never disrupts it. It never peels or kind of foams up or anything. So I do like it for that reason as well. Versus the High Moist. Am I the only one who thinks it is sticky? I just feel like the texture is a lot stickier than the white one I guess it makes sense because it is a high moist but it doesn't feel like more hydrating or more nourishing it literally just feels sticky and I feel like it does not kind of absorb into my skin as well as the white version does with this one I would apply a one layer and then it doesn't feel quite hydrated but I feel like I can't really layer a second layer because it just feels sticky when I'm trying to pat it into the skin and I can kind of tell when I look at my hands after I've patted it in my hands are like glistening but not in a good way like a nice glow but it's it's like glistening it seems kind of greasy and sticky and I am just not a huge fan of the texture that it leaves on my skin I actually replaced the top with a spray trigger it does usually just come in a regular pump bottle and I did replace it with a trigger which I just bought this top from Muji it fits perfectly it screws right onto this so I've actually started using it on my body when I get out of the shower like that it is actually super super popular as a body moisturizer in japan even when you look at the at cosme ranking award site which literally like tells you all the rankings and all the reviews of like any beauty product in japan it is like best info out there but it is unfortunately only in Japanese but I did see that it was always ranking towards the top in body moisturizers not for the face but body so I thought I would start using it for my body since I'm not liking it on my face that much I do think it works well on like the upper body especially like the decollete chest area I have been using it and really like it because honestly I don't usually moisturize those areas like I'll moisturize my neck of course and as far as I can get down but I do um, slack a little bit when it comes to the chest area so you has been really easy to just spray on straight out of the shower I will say it is not enough moisture for me for my legs I do have very dry legs I will spray it on but I feel like it essentially does nothing it just kind of absorbs and it's kind of like all in all, I will say it is definitely a decent product. Personally, um, if I lived in Japan, I would probably definitely keep a bottle of this around. It's just so cheap. It's like about 800 yen in Japan for 500 mils. 800 yen for half a liter of toner. Like that's so, so cheap. And I would probably like put a spray trigger on, leave it in the fridge in summer and literally like drown my face and body in this stuff if I lived in Japan because it is that cheap. Of course, it is going to be a little bit more expensive buying it internationally or online, although it's still gonna be great value for the freaking size. It is huge and it is gonna last you a very long time and you don't have to be stingy with it because there's so much of it. If you are impatient and wanna be like a one layer and done, it might not be enough for you, especially if you have dehydrated skin. I will say one layer of this on my dehydrated skin doesn't seem to be quite enough hydration and again i probably cannot recommend it too much to people with sensitive skin i have spoken to a few people who said they broke out from it i have read reviews that people have broke out from it and looking at the ingredients there are definitely a couple ingredients that can be a little bit sensitizing like the alcohol and fragrance so please patch test and be especially aware if you do have sensitive skin i will note that this is not the toner i reach for when my skin barrier is compromised or if I am feeling irritated this is not the one I reach for and one other thing I will note that is 
not a good thing about this product is the pump. It is a very aggressive pump, I must say. You have to be really careful when you're pressing it. I press it really slowly and make sure like I catch it in my palm because if you just press it like, like a normal moisturizer, it's gonna go flying. It really shoots it out. It is not a great pump that's on it, but it is hella cheap. So that's probably why they just went with a cheap pump. And I feel like people are gonna ask me this anyway. So compared to the Naturia one, I probably still prefer the Naturia one. I can use it for a broad range of occasions, I guess you could say. I feel like I can reach for that more, even if my skin is a little bit more irritated and it does seem to be a bit more gentler on the skin. They are about the same price in Japan, I think. Maybe the Naturia one's like even slightly cheaper. So I would probably still go for that one if I had that option, but it is a very decent product for the price, as I said, and the value. Although people still seem to love the pink one more. I don't get it, I guess I'm the only one. That is about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.